everyone, so I thought I would drop in today with a tag video because I have been meaning to do Lily's beauty scenario tag for the longest of times. Lily, I promised you I'd do it, so here it is, and I'm going to get started. And the first question is, you have to get rid of all of your foundations, that's really hard, and you can only keep one high-end and one drugstore, which do you keep? Now this was a bit of a tough one. And so I think for a drugstore foundation I would keep, I would go for this, and it's Bourjois Happy Light Foundation. I have the shade 50 in this. It is really nice. And I originally read this question as just a high-end foundation, and I was going to pick the Chanel Vitalumia Aqua, and these two are really similar. So I thought for the drugstore one, I'll go for like a sheer, everyday, kind of throw it on, medium coverage, like don't really need to work too much with it and this is that for me and then for the high end one I thought I would go for something SPF free really super kind of medium can be built up to quite full coverage and one when you know your skin is in need of some serious SOS and for me that's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation love this stuff whenever I need to film or I'm going out in the evenings and I need my makeup to like really stick to my face and really cover this stuff is awesome, it's basically good skin in a bottle. The second question is, you go for an interview and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. Do you approach the subject or do you ignore it completely? Now that is a bit of a tough one and I think if I was in a non-interview environment among friends, 100% I would tell someone. I feel like I tell Lily all the time and she would tell me. Same goes for boogers, you just have to tell people. But in an interview situation, I don't think I would. I think I'd just kind of let it go. You don't know how that person could react. It could be a bit awkward, Ooh, awkward turtle moment. So I think I would probably ignore it. Number three, you're not feeling yourself and you need a pick me up. Which lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel beautiful? Now for me, I went through a few possibilities here and I thought of more bolder shades, but when I wear those, I need to feel brave. And I'm guessing in this situation, you probably just are feeling a bit crap and you need something to pick yourself up. That to me is not a red or a bold lipstick, that's kind of somewhere in between, not a necessarily a really nudie nude, but something with a bit of colour, a bit of peach in it, and for me that is Max Cutter Caper lipstick. It was limited edition back in the day, it is gorgeous, it's the perfect mix of coral, pink and peach. It's just everything that I love in a lipstick and whenever I put it on it just really brightens my face, it's almost like the Tarte Tipsy Blush, you know how much I love that, but for the lips, and although this isn't available anymore, I did find kind of a dupe among my stash, and it's from Tarte actually, and it's their Lip Surgeon's Power Pigment in the shade Tipsy, which is a really nice, kind of the same thing, peachy pink shade, lots of pigment in this stuff, and it's really good. Number four is, you go back in time for a day to your teenage years, how would you do your hair and makeup differently? Wow, <laughs> there would be so much I would do differently. Number one, I would not cut off my eyebrows. Yep, you heard that right. When I was younger, I cut off my eyebrows with nail scissors. What was I thinking? I had the world's biggest mono brow, but that really wasn't the best way to go around it. And that just sunk me into years and years of really messed up brows that were like one strand long. So I definitely wouldn't do that. Hair-wise, I wouldn't do. It was all about, back in the day, you wore your hair like this in a ponytail, and then you, you flipped it up like this, and you put a little hairband around it, so you had like, it was all about having the bits sticking up here. That was what was the fashion when I was at school. I wouldn't do that, I'd just let my hair be natural. Number five, you ask your hairdresser for a shoulder-length pixie lot haircut, but they hear wrong and give you a pixie cut. Do you A, smile and say thank you, but leave and call your mum hysterical? B, cry in the chair and things get awkward? Or C, complain to the manager and demand a refund? Now, I am the least confrontational person ever. I hate confrontation, I just can't really handle it at all. So I would definitely go for A. And I've been in situations like this all the time, not necessarily with hair, but especially with makeup. It's very rare that I have a makeover and I really like the results of it. I will try and get out of makeovers at all costs because I just really always feel like I've got loads of makeup on afterwards. I always have to get the tube home and like everyone is staring at my face and I'm wearing blue eyeshadow up to my eyebrows. I'm not feeling it. So I would definitely be an A in that situation. I would smile, say thank you, leave and call my mum or dad. 
pretty hysterical. But yeah, it happens with makeovers all the time, which is why I now carry a mini bottle of Bioderma around in my bag. Number six, your friend surprises you with a four day city break and you have one hour to pack. Which do it all palette do you pack in your makeup bag? Now this for me is easy and last night I actually had a good rummage through those drawers and tidied everything out so I was very, it was very fresh in my mind this palette because I saw it yesterday and I was like, you need to use that more because it's got everything in it. It comes from Laura Mercier and I think they bring out variations of this every Christmas and it is their colour to go portable palette for eyes, lips and cheeks in the shade Natural Nudes. Eyes, lips and cheeks, everything you need colour wise is in here. On the top you open it up, it's got a decent sized mirror, love that. And then you've got a mini of their lip glasses, which are gorgeous, I really, really like um, their lip glosses. Kind of only second to the Clarins ones, which are my favourite favourites. Then you've got like three eyeshadows here, you've got a shimmer, kind of two mattes, and then you've got one of their um, eyeliners, like cake eyeliners in brown, perfect. Then you close it and you open the second drawer, and here you get bronzer and blush. Amazing. What else could you possibly need? This has everything colour wise. All you would need to bring with you is like an eyebrow product, your mascara, your foundation and concealer. Amazing. Number seven, your house has been robbed. Don't worry, everyone is safe. Phew. But your beauty stash has been raided. What's the product you really hope is safe? And for me, the answer to this has to be something that has like nostalgia to it and sentimental value. And that is this. It's from MAC and it is their Dashing Lassie eyeshadows and they bought this out as part of a Christmas collection probably around four years ago now I'd say and it was all like tartan themed, Scottish themed. I loved that Christmas collection actually. That's one of my favourite MAC collections ever and inside you get a tiny little brush and then six nude eyeshadows. I put this on my Christmas list and my boyfriend Mark got it for me and I will never get rid of this because it just makes me laugh that I know he had to go into MAC and ask for this with all the other awkward boyfriends like standing around like oh god we're all getting stuff for our girlfriends for Christmas. That in my head just makes me laugh and although I don't use the palette much anymore, although I really should because I really like that shade, um, I will never get rid of this. And then the final question, your friend borrows your makeup and returns it in awful condition. Do you A, just pretend that you haven't noticed, B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same to something of theirs? <gasps> okay, definitely not C, because that is just, that's really, really naughty. I would probably say A, I have loads of makeup, it really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Like nine times out of 10, you could repurchase it if you really, really wanted to but the chances are you'll probably forget about it and there's probably something very similar in your stash. That's how I would see the matter, but if you did see, woo, not bad, not good. So those are all of the questions and I tag you to do the beauty scenario tag and I feel very proud that people are doing this because I actually saw it be birthed in Lily's notepad. So I'm very proud of Lily, go girl, wicked questions. But thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on Sunday, bye.